Super tasty chow mein in no time flat. This chow mein is great on its own, or it can go with almost anything. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. You know, this recipe is so quick to make. This morning I made a mac and cheese out of a box for the kids for their lunch. It literally took me 25 minutes to do that. Oh my goodness, I totally could have made this for them instead and it would have been so much tastier. I'm starting with half a pound of chow mein noodles. I've already blanched them and rinse them under cold water to stop the cooking, but also to remove some of the starches because I'm going to be stir frying this chow mein. Now this noodle comes in a bag like this. I think they're cooked and dried, and then you just buy them and you kind of rehydrate them because on the back it'll give you instructions on how to prepare your noodles for the different things. Like, you know, it's always preparing the noodles the same and whether you use it in a soup or in uh, you know, pan fried noodles or in a stir fry noodles, there is a way to kind of, I guess, bring them back to life before you use them. I found these in the refrigerated section of the Asian market and you can find a variety of different types of chow mein noodles. These are the thin chow mein noodles. You can get thicker ones if you prefer that, you can use those. I didn't check the dried section to see if they had dried chow mein. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, I usually just buy the ones in the refrigerator. I'm using half an onion that I'm gonna slice up. And I like to slice from top to bottom. Just find that they hold its shape better when I'm cooking. I'm using green Chinese chives today. In this particular dish, we often find it with yellow chives in the restaurants, but the yellow chives were like $12 a pound. And I'm like, I'm not paying $12 a pound. So we got these for $3 a pound. You don't need much. I would say about a quarter size amount. I'm just gonna cut these up into two inch pieces. These chives are garlicky in flavor, but if you can't find chives, you can always use just green onions and use about maybe four or five stalks of green onion in its place and it will be just as tasty. I'm using four ounces of bean sprouts that I have already rinsed and set aside. Starting with one teaspoon of sugar. I'm just using regular sugar. You can use brown sugar if you like, adding a, one tablespoon of soy sauce. This is the light soy sauce or just regular soy sauce. Two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. And dark soy is not as salty as regular soy. It's actually a little bit sweet and we are using it basically for its color but still a little bit of soy sauce flavor. If you don't have dark soy, I would use um, more regular soy and maybe a little bit more sugar. I'm also using one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And this is where the noodles gets its umami flavor. It's a new bottle, so I'm having tr trouble just getting it out. Good enough love about a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper and one tablespoon of water. Let's stir this around, make sure that that sugar at the bottom is dissolved. A whisk might actually do better here as I have this like white pepper clumping together. Oh my goodness, so much faster. It's me not wanting to wash too many things. So I try to just get everything done with what I've got out. Okay, heating up my wok on medium high heat. This dish is so simple to make and it can go with so many things. Of course you can have it on its own, but it is great with like orange chicken or General Tso's chicken or beef and broccoli. Like all of those recipes you can find in my cookbook, Chinese Homestyle and this dish would go perfect with those. 
As soon as you start to see your wok smoke, that's when you add your oil. So we're adding a tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using um, canola oil today, but you can use vegetable oil or whatever oil you want to use that is kind of neutral in flavor. Adding the onion. I'm gonna cook this for about a minute or two, just to soften them up a little bit. It's really important to have all your ingredients ready to go because this recipe is super fast. Okay. Adding bean sprouts. Just for about 30 seconds or so. And we're adding our noodles. And you'll find like the noodles are loose. They're not like super sticky. And that's what happens when you kind of blatch them and you discard this, um, you rinse it under cold water to discard some of that starch. I'm just gonna move some of the vegetables up top to get the noodles down to the bottom. I'm gonna drizzle about a tablespoon of oil just around the edge so that we can get the noodles a little bit crispy as it slides down the edge of the wok. And we're just gonna let this sit for about a minute or two so that we can get some crispiness on the noodles. I'm gonna move the noodles around. Okay, and we're adding our sauce. Look at that color, so Looking pretty. Good. So this dish is often served in Hong Kong style cafes for breakfast. You can have it with congee um, or some other kind of soup, soupy dish to go with the noodles on the side. It's also found in dim sum restaurants for lunch. That is just an extra tasty dish to have. Adding the chives. And we just want to cook this until it's all wilted. Right, turning off the heat. Look at that. Looks so good. I literally don't know what my problem is. I always forget to tell you guys to add the sesame oil when I'm still stir frying. So, doesn't matter. Sesame oil for the win. Right on top. All right, are you all ready for? For real. The taste. This is what I consider the Swiss army of sides, Chinese sides to go with just about anything. But yes, traditionally you go to uh, have breakfast at a HK style cafe and you rock the juk, the kanji with the noodles on the side. It's kind of weird, all the carbs hitting you but it's a very uh, complementary type of relationship. You get the smoothness of the juk, you get the more granular nature of the chow mein. But, you know, places like Panda Express and Manchu Walk for you Vancouverites is uh, those Chinese restaurants in the malls. You get like choosing the fried rice and or noodles with your two dishes, your orange chicken and beef and broccoli and whatnot. Let's get some of this. Mmm, sesame oil at the end. Nice finish. Yeah. What's most important is the texture of the noodles. Perfectly cooked, not mushy. That's really important. Just enough give. And uh, the texture goes so well contrasting with the, the chives and the other veg in there, bean sprouts and onions. So yeah, texture is very important. So this is cooked just perfect. Oh, it's 
so good. So, you gotta get some, guys. Thanks. Mm. Mac and cheese out of a box or a fresh chow mein straight out of a wok. I'll let you be the judge. All the recipes mentioned earlier that would go great with this chow mein can be found in my Chinese homestyle cookbook. You can still get it in time for Christmas. Check out the link below.